It might happen that employees are absent from work due to different reasons such as a planned vacation or an illness. In this case, it is important that their work does not stop but is taken over by other employees. In SAP Business by Design, you can choose between task and employee substitution to ensure the continuity of the process. The employee substitution allows you to fully substitute employees, for example, when employees are absent for a long period. When you define employees as substitutes, they are automatically granted all access rights for the substituted employee. Prerequisite is that both employees have been assigned business roles. This means that you cannot grant access rights directly. Task, task substitutions, on the other hand, are focused on specific tasks of the absent employee. In this case, the substitute can process the business tasks on the employee's behalf. You can assign the task responsibility to multiple employees, so all receive the task of the employee being substituted. However, you need to ensure that the substitute or substitutes have the same or greater access rights so that the task can be processed accordingly. So let's see how you work with substitutions in a business by design system. Let's start with a task substitution. But before I show you how you set up a task substitution, I have already logged in as Lisa Meyer, who is setting up our sales organization in our OpenSAP demo company. And I did that because I wanted to show you those two approval requests that are pending in her management area approvals view. Both are for Michael Green. One is an approved leave request and the other one is an approved shopping cart request. And I show you those requests simply because Lisa will be the one who will be substituted by another employee. And this employee will then need to approve those approval requests and therefore I wanted to show you them first. That said, I will now log off and log on again as administrator to set up the task substitution. I'm now logged on again as administrator and to define a task substitution, I go to the application, application user management worksitter and here to the task substitutions view. Here I select the user for which I would like to set up a task substitution and I already mentioned this will be our sales manager Lisa Meyer. So I select Lisa's here and click on edit substitution. And here on the next screen, I can now define who will be the substitute of Lisa. First, I click add role. The user which will be substituted is automatically added. Then I can select the relationship type. Here I can select if the user, which is listed here, either fills in for another user or is substituted by another user. In our case, Lisa will be substituted by another user. So I select this substitute by, and then I enter the name of the user who will substitute her. It's, our, it's her colleague, Susan. And then I click activate, save and close. And that's all I have to do. Now I will log in as Susan Miller to show you how she can now work on the approval request that I show you, showed you previously. I'm now logged in as uh, Susan, the substitute of Lisa. And as you can see here, Susan also has the management area work center, which is the requirement that she can can access those approval requests if she is substituting Lisa. And if I now go to the approvals view, and as you can see here now, Susan has now access to the two approval requests. One is the leave request, and the other one is the approved shopping cart request. And she now can approve the request on behalf of Lisa. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you from Susan's perspective. But how does it look like Let's assume Lisa is back in the office. So therefore, I log on as Lisa now. Of course, there's always the possibility that the administrator stops the substitution. But in this case, when Lisa is logging in, she will be prompted with the information that there's an active substitution for her. And if she want to turn off the substitution, she can simply click yes, and then the substitution is turned off. Let's now take a closer look at the employee substitution. But before I will show you how to set up the employee substitution, I'm logged in as Tom Taylor, as you can see here, who will be the substitute again of our sales manager, Lisa Meyer. And I did that because I want to show you the current access rights of Tom 
which are very limited. And this will change after he has been granted the same access rights as Lisa. So that's set. I will now log off and log on, on again as administrator to set up the employee substitution. I'm now logged on again as administrator and I find the substitution view in my application user management work center under user and access management. Here I have my substitutions view. To create a new substitution, I go to new and then select substitution. First, I enter the name of the of the employee who will be substituted. As I already mentioned, this will again our, be our sales head of sales, Lisa Maya. Therefore, I enter her name here. Select her. And next, I will enter the name of her substitute. As again, I mentioned, I've mentioned earlier, will be colleague, her colleague, Tom Taylor. And then I define the start date, and I want that the substitution is be effective immediately, so I keep the automatically added start date. And as I don't know when Lisa will be back in the office, I also keep the end date open. And down here, I now see all the access rights that will be granted to Tom. And um, in case I'm not okay, that he will get all the access rights. As I mentioned earlier, by default, he will get all the access rights. I could simply tick off one of the um, boxes here and then the work center will not be granted to Tom. But let's say I'm okay with that. Then I only need to save and close. And that's all I have to do. If I now refresh the screen here, you will see that the active substitution of Lisa substitute by Tom is now active. And when Lisa is back in the office, I only would need to end, click end substitution here. But now let's log off and log on again as Tom to see how his access rights have been changed. I'm now logged in as Tom again, as you can see here. And now see here that the access rights have been adapted and he now has the same access rights as Lisa has based on the defined substitution. Okay, let's also take a close look at the management area and the approvals view because you remember from the task substitution demo, we have one approval left. Here's the approved shopping cart from Michael and let's quickly approve this one on behalf of Lisa as well. With that, I'm finished with the demo of, of unit four. Let's summarize unit four. We have seen how to assign access rights to individual users and also how to use business roles for work center assignment. Finally, we worked with substitutions on task as well as on employee level. That's all for this unit. I see you in unit five.